Hey guys, how's it going? Super B, 1986 here. Once again with a brand new Ratchet and Clank discussion video because I know you guys love my Ratchet and Clank discussion videos. And as you can tell by Ratchet's face in the thumbnail, he seems rather shocked. And yes, that is kind of correct. Today, I'm going to talk about something which has so much potential to be amazing, right? Um, it might not happen. It might not happen to Tales of Grain Soul. I'm just this is just a theory, I suppose. I'm floating out there, but it could be 100% possible that there will be multiple different areas on planets in Ratchet and Clank PS4. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean that there will be different sections of the planet where you can go and visit. We all know, know, know that um, like. Most of the original locations from the original Ratchet and Clank 1, like the maps and stuff like that, they've all been redesigned and remade in Ratchet and Clank on PS4. So, if that's all the game is, it's not a lot of new stuff. And there is new stuff, we have seen in gameplay as well, that there's a completely new place that, we, like, that involves Clank that we've never seen before. So... What theory I'm just going to try and float out there is that it's highly possible that there might be, you might be able to travel to more than one area in a Ratchet and Clank planet. So let's take Pokotaro for example. The Pokotaro section that we saw is, um, let's say, it's a remake of the original section from the original um, Ratchet and Clank PS2 game. What if, what if, once you get that done, there's an entirely new area to travel to. Like, you can get in your ship and you can select a new sector of the planet. How intense would that be? I mean, that would be amazing. That had so much potential. To be honest, this is something I felt Insomniac should have done a long time ago. And really, every, Ratchet and Clank, every major Ratchet and Clank game has like a major new feature. So, like, a crack in time... Had the space travel, we can fly around in the ship. That obviously isn't going to be in Ratchet and Clank PS4. So where's the harm in adding mul multiple different areas to a planet? Imagine how much replayability that will give. This will make this game stand out so much more than any other previous Ratchet and Clank game in the past. And I feel like it's something that just in general needs to happen there. I'll be very upset if something like this doesn't happen. So... I mean, I, I mean, it would be cr it would be great to see like one or two different areas for like each planet. That be that would just be so epic. Like just like once you finish with the main like metropolis bit, then you go to another area. This could explain the um, why metropolis is called Alero City in um, like in the uh, in the gameplay footage. Maybe Alero City is actually a completely different section. You know what if it's completely different like maybe a Lero city is a new area and metropolis is its own area maybe that's why the train section looks so different because it does look different the metropolis that we saw in the gameplay trailer isn't the exact same one that we saw in um like in the original ps2 game so this is just some like theories i'm popping out here it may it may be to be too good to be true but you never know with ratchet and clank ps4 um I think it is definitely possible. We don't really know a lot about Ratchet and Clank PS4, really. We do, but we haven't really seen what the game is lo looks like when you're just generally playing it. So maybe this could be a thing for the future. I'd like to see it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, as always. Like, subscribe, favourite, all that good stuff. And I shall speak to you guys later on.